Hey, this is Taylor with Symmetry, and we help busy people take back control of their lives so they have more time, more energy, and less stress. Today, we're going to be talking about sleep. You know, the old adage that you'll sleep when you're dead is just no longer true. It's been thrown out the window with all the research in this past decade about the importance of sleep and how negatively it can affect your body with even as little as six hours of sleep a night. It can cause issues such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, affects your mood, depression, anxiety, and just generally how you feel throughout the day. When we sleep, that's when we recover. That's when all of our bodily processes are allowed a break and a rest. It's how we process information that we're given throughout the day. It's why you, you know, a lot of times you'll wake up in the middle of the night with an aha moment, and that's because something's processed throughout the night. A lot of people struggle with having good sleep. How, what do I need to do? I can't ever sleep well. I wake up in the middle of the night a lot. So I want to give you guys five things that you can do to help improve your sleep. The first one is to create a comfortable environment for your sleeping experience. Your bedroom should be cold. It should be dark. It should be very quiet. Don't want a lot of noise going on, a lot of electronics either. It should stay out of your bedroom. That's the second one, is cutting off those electronics an hour before you go to bed. You know, if we are on Netflix or scrolling through Instagram, what we're doing, we're keeping our mind in that sympathetic state where we are a little stressed out, releasing more of those cortisol stress hormones. We're also suppressing melatonin production. Melatonin production is important for our sleep. It's important to get us through all the sleep cycles, the REM and the deep sleep. So cutting out electronics an hour before you go to bed is a big thing that will help improve your sleep. Also make sure you're not drinking too much alcohol, having caffeine too late, or eating too large of meals. Uh, if you're going to do that, just do it. Have it earlier in the day, a few hours before you go to bed. And really with caffeine, you want to try to cut that out around early afternoon because the half-life of caffeine is a good eight hours. And if you are you, know, you have a cup of coffee at 2, it's still in your system at 9, 10 o'clock at to night. Get some sunlight in the morning. You know, well, why would I want to get sunlight in the morning? What that does is that sets your circadian clock on point. When you wake up and you see the sun, what it begins to do there is increase cortisol production, which you need to have for the beginning of the day and to take action and get moving. It suppresses that melatonin production, like we talked about, but what that also does is it puts it on a cycle to kickstart later in the day so that melatonin will begin to produce as you're ready to go to bed the next night. Morning sunlight's also shown to just overall be a mood enhancer as well. So get outside. All you need is 10, 15 minutes. You know, read a book, have your cup of coffee, sitting in your backyard, take a dog for a walk. Any of those things are a great way to get early sunlight. You want to do it you know, within that first hour of waking up. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you're nasal breathing as you sleep. You ask me, well, okay, how am I going to know if I'm mouth breathing or nasal breathing? You know, we've talked a lot about the benefits of nasal breathing. And if we are breathing in through our mouth all night long, that's roughly a third of our day, we are stressing our system. We're keeping ourselves in that sympathetic overdrive. We're not really getting the proper sleep we need. If you find yourself waking up with a dry mouth, feeling like you need water, if you have to go to the bathroom a few times at night, or if you wake up and you're still very lethargic, there's a good chance you're breathing in and out of your mouth. If you're snoring, you're breathing in and out of your mouth. So the way to ensure nasal breathing is by using mouth tape. Right here, I've got, it's called 3M Micropore Tape. You can buy it at any drugstore. It's fairly cheap. You get it on Amazon. You can get about 10 rolls for, I think, $10. Don't need much. Just a small bit. Put it over your mouth. This is very easy tape to pull off. It's not like duct tape, which 
you know, most people think when I say mouth tape and most people also think I'm crazy, which I know you probably do, but uh, trust me, I use this with pretty much all of my clients. I've used this myself. You will see a dramatic increase in your sleep. You'll feel a lot better, have a lot more energy in the morning when you wake up. When you first start doing this, if you're nervous about doing it, just try it for 10 to 15 minutes before you go to bed. You know, and you'll also notice when you first start doing it, the tape probably is not going to stay on. It could end up all over yourself on your, on your pillow. You know, when I first did it, I'd say the first few nights, it was everywhere. Then as you begin to train yourself, you naturally adapt and you begin breathing through your nose naturally. Then you don't really need the mouth tape anymore. You just evolve to regularly breathing through your nose. And that's going to be a big game changer for your sleep. If you are not getting quality sleep, trust me, try this out and see how you feel. Now, don't do this with very young kids. If you've been drinking too much, you're not feeling good, don't do it either. But if you're... Now we're going to go through a breathing routine to help you go to sleep. So a couple of the things that we like to do to help sleep is one, we like to extend our exhales. So we've talked about that slowing of the exhale, extending the exhale helps drop our nervous system into that calm parasympathetic state. We want to make sure we're using the nose. We also like to include small breath holds, sub maximal breath holds, just three, four seconds. You can just begin to give a little calming aspect and create a little more mindfulness allow you to stop worrying about whatever's going on and just focus on your breath. So I want you to find a nice space, quiet place, where you can lay down for this one. I want you to just close your eyes and place your hands on your belly. Begin breathing in the nose and out of the nose. As you breathe in, making sure the belly rises. And as you breathe out, just letting it fall. In the nose and out of the nose. Can you let go of any tension you're holding in your body? Your neck, your shoulders, relax your face. I want you to exhale your air. Let's breathe in the nose for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Slowly out of the mouth for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Slowly out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, you just continue this on your own. Breathe in for four, hold for four, and out for eight. As you breathe in, making sure that belly's rising. As you breathe out, letting it fall. Make sure we're breathing in the nose. If you'd like, you can breathe out of the nose. You can try a slight hissing exhale, just a Just let it go out of your mouth, just a
whatever you find most relaxing. this cadence is really easy for you scale it up breathe in for five hold for five out for ten if you're finding it slightly difficult just drop it back down in for three hold for three and out for six just letting any tension wash away Just making sure that belly's rising and falling. Now I'm going to leave you here, but you can continue this as long as you like. And come back to this breath technique whenever you need it to help go to sleep. Thank you. Have a good day.